Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring some battles from Lunch Money Lou, a very loyal subscriber and longtime viewer went 14 and 1 with this very interesting uh, greed and double poison team in the green is a very strong Pokemon obviously weak to counter and these two poison types which are Tentacruel and uh, and um, a Galarian Weezing uh, definitely provides some very excellent coverage but let's go ahead and take a look at these battles and see how they go we're gonna see Greedent into uh, a Dragonite which is obviously a very bad matchup for the Greedent since the Mud Shots are resisted gonna throw right before they make it to the Super same time as they make it to the Dragon Claw we're gonna see if there's gonna be a swap here or they're gonna stay they did go up to the superpower so we'll see whether or not I'm actually going to adjust. Oh, they actually do throw the superpower. Interesting here. And they come into... Wow, okay. They came into... Uh, um, I guess they're hoping to catch the body slam there. But they came into... Wow, that's crazy. Okay. They came in with a dirge. And then we'll see how they're going to play it. Maybe try to catch the the, the move. Okay. Go, probably going to shield this. Okay. Going to let this go. Maybe Green actually might survive this here, actually. It does easily survive. I'm going to get a nice farm down. And we are going to see the Dragonite come back in. Going to throw the Body Slam. This Dragonite probably will survive this Body Slam, but it'll put it pretty low. They actually end up shielding. Okay. Galarian Weezing is going to eat this Dragonite absolutely alive. And we see uh, Feraligator versus this Galarian Weezing. And this should be an easy GG. Just going to switch out. And there's really not too much this uh, Gator can do. Obviously, can land the Crunch, which is going to hit for neutral damage. Uh, but the Dragonite cannot touch. At least, only showed superpower. It could have Hurricane or Hyper Beam, but that's pretty unlikely. Picking up a very favorable matchup. Actually, has two answers to this uh, Giratina. So we'll see how these two decide to play it out. That Giratina decides to throw right away. Lunch Money decides not to throw. It is the Dragon Claw. Going to build up some energy and going to throw right before the next Dragon Claw. It doesn't really matter. I guess the Crunch debuff would be nicer earlier and does get the nice Crunch uh, debuff. The Giratina actually chose not to throw right away. So it's one over. Uh, gets another debuff here. That's crazy. And uh, they have now built up to back-to-back -to -back Dragon Claws, but those don't really matter too much. And they, this Giratina is continuing to farm. Maybe Lunch Money is going to look to farm a little bit more than throw the Body Slam and then look to Mud Shot down. This Body Slam probably going to be enough. It is double resisted, but in this case, there are two stages of defense drop and it is enough to take it out. And we see Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini definitely does not want to see two poison types in the back. But Glaring Weezing is not really offensively a poison type since it doesn't have any poison moves in its current moveset, like the moveset that Lunch Money's running with. So it is much more of a defensive poison type. Probably gonna let this go. Nice timing by the Tapu Fini. And we're gonna see Tentacruel, the hardest answer to uh, Tapu Fini, decide to top left and says, that is enough. I am Finied. Like finished. Okay, maybe that was a poor joke there. Okay, it's been a while since I recorded a video, so my jokes have not got very much, not that much better. All right, interesting matchup. This does the matchup does favor the Guzzlord. I've been playing a lot of Guzzlord lately, so this does favor the Guzzlord. And gonna throw at nine, which is on alignment. Do you want to throw at one, four, seven, or ten? Um, so not the best situation here. They do do one and throw. We'll see if they they have to throw two crunches here. They actually throw, end up throwing the claw, so the the claw and the crunch actually do not KO the green unless you get the crunch debuff first. And the Guzzlord decides to throw right away, but this green is probably going to be able to make. Oh, they brutal swing here. Maybe that's why they went for. Um, oh, interesting here. Okay, we're gonna see how this is gonna play out. And this green is able to make it to the move and actually win the zero shield. We'll see whether or not this Guzzlord decides to shield. It does decide to shield, but this is where you come in. Galarian Weezing, there's not really too much they can do. They're going to bank some energy here and going to look to throw the play rough and probably look to swap. Kind of a nice play by the opponent saving the energy there, realizing that it wasn't going to go too far here. 
So, but the question is here is, do they throw the sludge bomb? Do they throw the aqua tail? They do end up throwing the sludge bomb. Going to look to throw the uh, play rough, and we're going to see whether or not this, uh, it doesn't shield. So let's see what's in the back. It is a Trevenant, and this is actually a really good matchup for the Galarian Weezing as well, since it has a super effective... And going to try to catch the Seed Bomb there. Not successful in catching. Going to have to let this go because this Guzzlord is pretty loaded here. Uh, they do end up throwing the Shadow Ball. Does a lot of damage. Uh, probably going to look to let this go. They do end up throwing the Seed Bomb. And the Guzzlord... I think you let this go here. You could shield this as well. They end up throwing the Dragon Claw. But uh, you should be able to land, get to two Brutal Swings. I doubt uh, one Brutal Swing would KO. Maybe one Play Rough would do more damage, but it probably wouldn't be enough anyways. Actually, maybe it would be pretty close here. Play Rough is base 90. I don't know what Brutal Swing is. Um, I should know this. Like, probably Surf Clone, so 60. 60 was super effective. I guess it's actually probably slightly less. I'm going to guess slightly less since the Play Rough has Stab. Probably like two or three, probably like three or four percent uh, less. So, anyways, this is a good matchup for Greedon since it has super effective crunch. Choosing not to throw it right away, gonna over farm. I don't mind that. Uh, this should be a favorable matchup for the Greedon as long as it doesn't get debuffed by the Moonblast. Uh, and no debuff there. Gonna farm up some more and gonna look to throw the crunch. I guess the fast, even if they get the debuff, the fast move damage. Uh, doesn't really matter this much in that matchup. It obviously would be helpful because they should be, they would be able to survive the next crunch. Uh, and we will see how this is going to play out. Going to throw the crunch here. The place probably probably just barely su survive this, so you're probably going to have to throw the body slam to take it out. Just throw the body slam to take it out. And Greedon's going to be able to take the zero shield matchup. We'll see if the opponent decides shield. They do not decide shield. And this is actually a good situation here because you do get the crunch off and the mud shots are neutral. And But more importantly, you line up um, the Galarian Weezing onto the Annihilate. They do have enough energy for the Shadow Ball. Gonna no shield the Shadow Ball. The counters are double resisted though. So gonna look to th throw and catch the Hydro Cannon. Very nice catch. Uh, and this is looking pretty good at this moment here. Uh, these poison jabs are neutral and the Feraligator goes to seven here interesting uh this is one past the crunch they actually end up throwing the hydro gonna look to throw the scald we'll see if this gets the debuff they are nine so they're one away from the next hydro and they are farming up i think you let this go here uh this will probably oh gonna shield here interesting and gonna be able to make it to the move and we'll see whether or not this Fralligator decides to shield. It does end up deciding to shield and makes a very nice combo play. Going to throw the Brutal Swing at this Fralligator. That is a Brutal Swing there. And that's going to be GG. doesn't really matter. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter if they would have caught the move. Because um, the they would have to throw another Brutal Swing at, at, uh, at the Annihilate since 1-1 uh, KO. So this is a very bad matchup. For the green end, we'll see it say switch into Tentacruel and they they come in Giratina. Fortunately, Giratina is like super bulky, so this is not gonna it's very difficult for the Tentacruel to win the zero. Even if you land the blizzard, uh, you might be you'll probably be able to land two blizzards if they attempt to farm down. Because the scald actually no, this Giratina looks like it's taking quite a bit of damage. The scald probably does like 17. 15 to 17 percent is what i'm gonna guess so maybe it's gonna be enough here and and gonna be able to land the scald on cmp tie we'll see whether or not the opponent decides to shield they do decide to shield but i think you let this go and force this gear team to throw again and then uh as well there's no way they can farm down they're gonna let this go gonna farm down with greed in Body slam the Polyrath and look to switch afterwards. Let's see. I think that's the play. Gonna wait the clock here. I probably wouldn't wait the clock, to be honest. Oh, gonna come in. Believes in the 
G-Weezing here. And uh, we will see. That does absolutely no damage on their side. And they come into uh, for Alligator here. This is actually going to be a pretty interesting end game. They do throw the play rough. And going to try to make the catch there. This for Alligator is absolutely loaded. Uh, and we will see how this is going to play out. Going to land the Body Slam. Does a pretty nice amount of damage. This is probably an icy win. Going to try to slow down this Squirrel. They actually throw the Scald here. No debuff, though. That's actually pretty devastating for the opponent. They will be able to make it to the Icy Win before the next Body Slam. But will they choose to throw or will they get hit by another Body Slam? They will choose to get hit by another Body Slam. But you clearly can't shield as the Galarian Weezing. Um, uh, you just no shield this. Because this Frolicate is loaded. They throw the Icy Win. And going to look to throw the Brutal Swing. We'll see whether or not this Feraligator chooses to shield. If they call the bait here, this game's likely over. If they shield, then the play rough will be enough. They're going to have to shield the Hydro. Shield the Hydro. And then going to be able to take out the, the Polyrath. There's no way the Polyrath will make it to uh, Scald, which is what it is going to need to in order to take out this G-Weezing. And Icy Wind will not take it out. The counters are double resisted and going to be able to farm down. And that is a 5-0 set there. Very nicely played by Lunch Money Lou. Thank you very much. A little bit of a sh throwback there. Shoutcasting some GBL matches. Those were fun. Anyways. Uh, if you like, hit the like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.